All right, so Get Back by The Beatles. This is from the Let It Be album. And I've been meaning to do this one for a long time. Such a great song. And what inspired me to get it done was I was watching YouTube videos the other day and, you know, the suggested videos come up and it was Peter Jackson doing a video on the Beatles channel talking about this documentary that he's in the middle of putting together that's called Get Back. And he's got 56 rolls of unseen Beatles footage from the Let It Be film sessions. And he's making his own documentary on that. So if you click that eye in the corner there, the information thing or the description box or the first pinned comment, I'll leave a link to my website and I'll put that Beatles Peter Jackson link there. And you should definitely watch it. That is such a great little clip. You know, after all the crap that we're all going through right now, if you're looking to feel good, just watch that. And if you're a Beatles fan, I guarantee you, uh, you're going to come away watching that feeling really good. So definitely watch that. And of course, they play Get Back throughout the whole clip. So that's the reason I'm doing this. Anyways, let's get on with it. We're in the key of A. And there's two guitar parts, obviously, George and John. Let's start with George's part. So we're in the key of A, standard tuning, and we're just going to start like this. All right, so I've got my Les Paul on my single coil here to get a little thinner sound. And we're just, just offbeat on that G string and then bouncing off the open A. And it's a crescendo, so it builds. And then we just got G, A. I'll do the G power chord without that third on the A string. All right, and now we're gonna go. So George is actually doubling John's part in the first couple of bars. So George, now George is going to break out into this. Okay, so he's going to fret that D chord, but he's going to still be bouncing off the A note on the G string and the D string. Back to the A. In the chorus, he's just going to do this. Get back, get back, get back to where you want to go. So that is just an A7, right? And the highest note is that open G. Get back, get back. And then. And now that the solo starts, and George is just going to keep clicking along there, right? So he's either doing that, or he's doing this, and the G A. That's about all there is to that part. There's one thing at the end which is a little bit different, and it's in the chorus, and it's uh, get back, get back. Instead of going down, he's going to go just to the D, to the A, and then to the A7. So it's like, get back, get back, get back to where you want to Okay, so just a little twist there. I mean, who knows? Maybe that was a mistake. Who knows, right? But that's in there. So that's pretty well for George's part. Now let's get on to John. So I'm going to go full humbugger for this. And he's going to start out hitting the strings, like with that A chord, uh, bar chord. And he's just go. And then just the G, D. And then he's going to start this. Then we've got that fill. So we're up here. If you think of this, and then just do that again. And now, so we've got a, we've got a, a D shaped A chord there, and we've got a, you know, a C shaped A chord there. So think about that. That would be first position, and then 
second position, then we slide up to third position. And that's pretty well all you're going to use in this solo, although he does throw in some minor pentatonic. Right? Okay, so that fill is. Now to get back into the rhythm, he's going to hit the open E. So we've got open E, and then we've, we've got that, which is the root in the sixth three. And we're back to that. And that's the second fill. Really dead easy, right? And now we've got the chorus. In the chorus, he's going to go. And he's going to throw in that A7 there. That's so sneaky, right? That's such clever playing. Because, you know, that's your D7 based on that, that D string, open D. So if we slide that up there, obviously that's got to be an A7. So it's really good. And now we're going to do it again. And we're going to play this D7. So there's your D. A lot of people will play a D7 like that with that note. But of course, that note is that note. So if we. That's also D7, right? Really, what that is, is if you played a G7 and you slid it up here, you would. It's basically like um, this G. seventh so like that but we don't need this because the bass playing that okay so that's really really clever guitar playing I think Gonna start the first solo and we're gonna go like this. So we're in this major uh, pentatonic position. Okay, and now we're gonna there, that's a minor pentatonic. Because you know the band's on the on the D, so you can't go. <laughs> we can't do that major pentatonic note there because then we'd get that D major seven, which is just doesn't work. So we kind of sort of have to play that D. Now we're going to go minor pentatonic, and we're going to kind of bend that third minor third up to the major. Now we're going to go. So that, that's a feel thing. I can't really explain that. Now he does this lick, which is, I just love that lick. So we're bending the sixth up to the minor seventh, down to the fifth, and then we're string skipping. You always think of guys like Momstein or Paul Gilbert when you think of string skipping, but this is John Lennon's uh, string skipping here. Right? So we're skipping the G, hitting the root note on the D note, on the D string. I found that really tricky to get that clean. All right, and then we're back to the room. So let's do that whole solo. Bending it up. Okay. 
and there we're we're on that opening again and then we're On the record, John doesn't do that, but in my demo, I just threw that in there. Get back, get back, get back. And we finish it off by just sliding up that C to D. And now we've got the second solo, and that's going to go like this. So that's a little bit different. It starts out the same. And now we're going to go. So instead of going just all the way up, we're going back down. And then we've got the same leg. The only thing that's different is we add an extra note. So the D note on G7. And then we're going to come back to this. Actually, when he, I think I hear that, just a little finger on uh, E12. That's just great major pentatonic guitar playing. And, you know, I could go over every little nuance of these, but the thing is, if you know where it is, you can figure it out just by listening to it a bunch of times. So let's do that second solo just a little bit slower. So that last lick, we end on the B note, on B12. And then we're back in the chorus. And that's the end. Like, I didn't cover any of the, um, the stuff during the piano solo, but it's all the same thing, right? It's just that. So that's it for this one. Just such a great song, such a, I don't know, I don't even know what it's about really, but the, the overall vibe of it is just so positive. And you mix that in with the clips from that, um, this documentary that Peter Jackson is doing. And it just, it's just, it's like the feel good movie of the year, <laughs> I think. Anyways, like I always say, I hope you get something out of this. I hope you enjoy playing it.